Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to take myself seriously right now. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm Light Liger, and today I will be continuing my exchange reviews. And we got ourselves a centralized exchange this time called Trade Ogre, which was started back in 2018. And I really call it the Cayman Islands of crypto exchanges because they are anonymous. There's no country registered, there's no email, uh, there's nothing really except a Twitter. Uh, link which is everything that they basically have and that is the reason because they are very privacy coin orientated exchange they basically have all the relevant privacy coins listed here on the exchange recently they have seen a big boost on the trading volumes due to the fact that uh, the pirate chain kind of exploded and a lot of people were basically trading on trade ogre uh for that coin because it was not really listed on any other high quality exchange at least in my point of view now things have obviously changed but um as far as i have used it since 2019 i have really had no problems with it even though the team is actually anonymous and yes there is technically no technical support available for this exchange in case you miss things up. Sometimes the actual tracking for deposits have been delayed a bit. But other than that, I had really no problems on this exchange uh, in the past. And I do recommend it in case, because there's no KYC on this exchange, by the way. So um, if you want to access privacy coins and don't want to do KYC, Trade Ogre is actually a pretty decent exchange when it comes to that. And there's basically two major markets, that is the PTC, and then there's Litecoin, which also has a couple of pairings here. We got Turtlecoin, uh, Bytecoin, a lot of people use it for Monero, Pirate Chain are obviously big ones, Litecoin, Doge, obviously here, even Ethereum has been listed recently. And USDT market is also a recent, uh, you know, thing that has been kind of surfaced on the market. Obviously has Grin, it has uh, Beam, Mimble, Wimble coin. Deep Onion Conceal has been doing recently pretty well. And I think <clears throat> there's going to be another surge in privacy coins at some point, obviously. Again, we had that with the recent uh, FUD from SEC. But let's kind of go into uh, some of the features. First of all, it comes in two different styles, light and uh, day mode. Let's go with night mode. Um, Let's start with fees. So there's not obviously a lot of features on this exchange when it comes to things. 0.2% flat fee on all the actual trades. The minimum trades, I believe, are roughly around 10 bucks. And the withdrawal fees are also very competitive and could, in my opinion, not necessarily for like Ethereum's and Bitcoin's. I mean, Bitcoin is not too bad either. But what I'm trying to say is that they are pretty fair for a lot of the other coins concerned, you know, Raven coins and Turtle coins and whatever else is basically listed here. A lot of old coins, obviously, like Verge, which is basically dead right now, dead in the water. Nobody uses it um, except, the, you know, some soy boys who keep messaging me on Twitter when I say it's dead. Um, <clears throat> but let's get into the market interface. Actually, it's very unique and different looking from anything else, really. So... On here you can see a bit of a chart and you can like basically zoom it. There's not a, like a way to out zoom it without buying a, kind of like clicking the reset button, which is annoying because it doesn't take you to the back to the original interface that we had when you opened it, showing you that again by refreshing the page. By the way, it's a very fast loading uh, exchange. So I like something about that. Uh, there's a market history and here you can see the sell orders and buy orders. Um, then there's the debt uh, volume here as well for buys and sells. A lot of sells right now for Pirate. Um, my trades, um, this was really bad. I mean, um, <laughs> I mean, I just like literally, you know, 700 sats and, you know, I could have gotten like, what, 15 times that money. I still got some Pirate Chain. I'm going to leave some tipping addresses in case, you know, the Trade Ogre boys want to send me some money. For covering their website but um the interface is pretty neat and there's also a coin listing service let's actually look into what they do entail here um they don't actually talk about the price and that's uh well another thing but um i would expect maybe two thousand dollars this is the throw up i don't really know um and then there's a help tab there's an also an api um for the actual thing so public api Listing the markets as well, order books, stickers, trade history, 
a private API as well. I don't know what is the actual utility for stuff like that, I guess. Um, but there's at least something here available for people to uh, use. Then we can go into the profile page here. We can basically see your balances here. So got some old privacy coins like Tube here. Grim used to be so much more valuable back in the day. Uh, DeFi as well. And we got even pot coin here apparently, holy shit. And um, there's trade history, um, deputy history, withdrawal history, security. I mean, <clears throat> not really much here. Google Authenticator. Um, we have also changing passwords in case you want to, and also withdrawal addresses that you can add for specific coins and generating new API as well. And that's pretty much it for Trade Ogre. I mean, there's not really much to cover here on this. It's a very simple exchange, has been around for three years, pretty much zero problems outside from, you may not see those when you deposit a coin into the exchange, there might be a bit of a little de delay until they're gonna be seeing like something happening there in terms of like the tickers and everything happening on the on the deposit feed. So don't be shocked about it. And obviously if you mess things up, um, they technically don't have a support. You can always uh, look them up on Twitter and message them there obviously. And uh, maybe that way you can uh, contact them and stuff like that. But um, yeah, definitely they're not the most active people by the way on as you can see, last tweet is in 2019. But, um, so they're not, they are anonymous people. So, but it seems that they do updates on the website though. Um, but uh, that is pretty much my rundown of Trade Ogre. Uh, it's the best place to basically trade those privacy coins very fast, uh, low withdrawal fees, and obviously risks are there because it's anonymous, but you would have expected them to already exit scam previously. But um, thanks for watching. Here are some tipping addresses. Send me some Monero uh, pirate chain or something like that. And I will be seeing you guys on the next video. Cheerios.